Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 5th of June. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS ECM Ensembles. Maybe runs around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for June itself. And I shall get over that for you in a moment, just to say about the first a video say was a 6 a.m. at UK weather forecast with also released Jamie Friday and the ECM WF42 day forecast released today. Um, that's normally released on a Saturday, but we've released it today because tomorrow we're going to have the um, third and final season one roundup for summer 2023, getting all of the long range models together for the last time this season. And uh, I say that will be released tomorrow morning. So, because of that, the EC42 day got shunted uh, to today. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. I hope you're having a lovely 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 friday as well so uh we're at the penultimate day of our charity uh event we have been uh, raising money and awareness for rainbows hospice they provide vital care for children and young people with life limiting and terminal conditions in the east midlands uh region and uh we've been plugging away at this since saturday uh, last saturday it the final day going to be tomorrow of our charity event and uh, we're going to be a uh, culminating, climaxing, even uh, with a uh, with a charity live stream, and it'll be coming up at six pm tomorrow evening. Um, going to run it for three hours, around three hours from six till nine pm. Uh, going to be people joining me on the stream, so I'll be having a chat uh, with uh, with a few guests, with Jeffers, with um, with Mark Bogan, with Steffi Adcock as well, and also lovely, lovely Ben Enter. You'll hear from uh, Richard uh, Traw, good friend Rich, and also. Uh, Brian Gaze from the Weather Outlook as well. They've, they've got a couple of messages for us as they can't chat to be live on stream. Um, and it's going to be absolutely epic. And, of course, we'll be talking about the weather. I'll show you a little bit of weather uh, in that stream as well. We'll perhaps have a few laughs, maybe one or two tears, because we're doing it in memory of my mum, uh, Mrs P, who, who we lost one year ago. Tomorrow, actually, 27th of May, it'll be one year tomorrow since the anniversary of when uh, Mrs. P uh, passed away. So uh, I'm doing it in her memory, and it'll probably be the final, uh, li uh, not final live stream, probably be the final charity live stream that I do. Um, so I've done a charity live stream before. I think this will be the last one. It's just hard to see how I could possibly ever top this one. So um, it's going to be a completely unique one-off experience, probably never to be repeated. And uh, I hope I shall see you at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Now, we have reached our most recent target. This would be uh, Gals Worthy's Just Giving page, uh, raising money for um, Rainbow's Hospice. So we've uh, gone past 750, now the target was to uh, 750, we've gone past that, thank you so much, for everybody who has donated so far, I have raised the target again to uh, 1,000 pounds, can we reach 1,000, can we reach 1k on uh, tomorrow's live stream, wouldn't that be exciting? If we could, thank you so much, everybody who has donated uh, so far. And yeah, you still got time to donate. You can do it through the Just Giving page. There's also Gals Web's PayPal page. Well, I had a few donations through that. Thank you so much, everybody who's donated through PayPal. I am passing it straight over to the Just Giving page as soon as I receive both donations. Um, and of course, you'll be able to donate in the live chat uh, tomorrow on the live stream if you want to, and and that will be passed straight to. Um, straight to, to, to Just Giving, and then from ju Just Giving to uh, Rainbows as well. Thank you so much, everybody. What we're doing here is absolutely unbelievable. The Gasworthers community is incredibly special. I'm so proud of the community that we have built up together. And, um, and yeah, let's let's have a good live stream tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we'll remember my mum, and uh, we'll raise some good money for, uh, for, for, uh, for Rainbows. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow at, at, at 6 p.m. But, 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 got the videos to get through first. So let's crack on with that. We're going to begin by having a look at central in temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 12.4, which is 1.3 degrees above the 61.99 average at the original to yesterday. 
to the 25th of May. These are the GFS upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're in Edinburgh today, so the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Edinburgh, signing off above average up above. We will see a little dip in the upper air temperature taking place over the bank holiday weekend and then most of red temperatures will push back up again as we go into next week actually potentially becoming very warm for a time next week now you have got a bit of a drop in the upper air temperature event taking place through the first week of june albeit with a lot of scatter though so we've got warmer ensemble members up here we've got cooler on some members down here, you'll notice with the green line, which is the uh, GFS Midnight Operational Run, that actually actually becomes uh, one of the coolest ensemble members in the entire suite. But uh, a lot scattered. But the overall trend, as you see here with the white line, which is the ensemble green, is downwards from that uh, warm pink that we get into the... Um, into the sort of middle, so second half of the next week type period. Precipitation wise, going to be a lot of dry weather through the rest of May. It actually, look, actually looks completely dry through the rest of May and into the opening days of June as well. Maybe get a little bit more unsettled from the first week into the second week of June. But of course, that's a long way off. So it's in range and therefore is unreliable. Temperature anomalies from the 26th of May to 3rd of June. About average, you'll be above in the north, perhaps a little bit closer to average or slightly below down in the south. These are trending warmer gradually over the uh, past few days, though. And look at me, precipitation anomalies from between zip bay to further June, very substantially drier than normal. The latest wind from map from Earth, Nordstrom.net shows that we're sat under a large area of high pressure. Today, high pressure is dominating and in control of the weather once again, and will remain so right way through into the bank holiday weekend. Um, right, so just notice that actually there's no UK Met today. It's been an issue with the UK Met uh, data coming through overnight, so we'll get rid of that because that's just today's um, UK Met run. And as I said, it's not been an update from the UK Met today. I should have put that up, so sorry, everybody. Uh, right, so we're going to start off today with ICON. And uh, ICON has an area of high pressure sitting over the top of the country, still there, still high and dry on Monday, but not so dry. Of fine weather, that high pressure dominating through to the middle next week, sat over the country again, and then into the second half next week, that high pressure just begins to reach a little bit further northwest, but still in the ascent. In, in the ascendancy, shouldn't try and pronounce that work after my tongue off, should I? Uh, still in the ascendancy, bringing winds in from right and easy direction. So next week, going completely dry and often warm. The GFS midnight run, again, that high pressure sat over the top of the country. Um, no change throughout most of next week. We are high and dry, looking warm, dry, fine. Just as we get towards around day nine, signs of a bit, of a bit of a change, high pressure, Starts moving towards Greenland and Iceland. A thundery trough is attempting to push up from the south, but at the same time, there's a cold front trying to come down from the north and introduce cooler air from the north. The way it all works out is that by day 10, we start going into a cooler northerly wind. That might involve some sort of thundery outbreak, especially for the south, but eventually start going into those cool northerly winds. You remember that uh, the uh, GFS uh, midnight operational run was one of the coolest ensemble members in the GFS uh, ensembles, um, and that's how it happens. So high pressure becomes a mid-Atlantic ridge, goes up towards Greenland, and down comes that very chilly uh, north northeast wind, and start to turn more unsettled as well, actually, as we get to the end of the first week and into the second week. Of June, not only is it cooler, but low pressure starts getting involved in the scenario as well. So it turns cooler and then it starts turning wetter right at the very end of the uh, GFS midnight operation run. Bear in mind, again, as we go back to it, bear in mind that is one of the coolest, if not the coolest, solutions, um, you know, within the ensemble. Uh, within the ensemble, so it's probably not going to verify. Never say never, though. GFS 6Z, again, with that area of high pressure dominating over top of the country on bank holiday Monday. Bring lots of dry and fine weather through to the middle part of next week and turns warmer and that high as well. The high sticks around into the second half of next week and into the first weekend of June. Mass day 10, still under the high pressure, the most dry water. You notice the high pressure on the 6th, that is not going north, it's not going into the North Atlantic and into, Green into Greenland. It's just sitting over top of the country 
keeping weather mostly dry, warm and fine. And that carries on right way to the end of the GFS 6 uh, gets us to the 11th of June, by which time the high pressure is starting to edge up towards Greenland, but we're still actually warm even at that point, and you'll notice that just to ourselves with the upper air temperature, we've got some very hot air setting across southern uh, parts of, um, setting across some parts of France and down into Spain and Portugal as well, plus 20 Celsius iceberg beginning to move out of Africa and into uh, Spain there. Is that a sign of things to come? I wonder. If you're enjoying the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe? Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web Business. We thank you so much everybody for doing that. And more importantly, don't forget to tell your friends about Rainbow's Hospice. They provide vital care for children and also uh, young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions. Their hospice is second to none. The facility that they have are unbelievable and they don't just provide care within the hospice setting they take the hospice out into the community so they will provide care for uh, for, for children and young people in the home environment they'll also provide care in hospital environment as well so uh the work they do is just absolutely incredible and unbelievable so please tell your friends about rainbows about the fundraising that we're doing for Rainbow's Hospice, and uh, ask them to give a donation. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that, uh, for, for Rainbow's. So, uh, GM, again, high pressure is in the ascendancy, in control, dominated weather on Monday, and that high pressure sticks around the country into the middle of next week. Mostly dry, fine and warm. In fact, it's a high pressure fest with the GM. Look at me, it's all the way up to day 10. That high pressure just remains firmly in situ, bringing lots of fine weather. Eventually, it's weakening a little bit, makes it turn a bit showery, a bit bungy by day 10, perhaps. But, but really, it, it's dry, warm, high pressure domination right way to day 10. And then the ECM again showing that the high pressure is sitting over the top of the country. Through the early to middle part of next week, it brings more in the way of dry and hotter weather, actually, into the middle of next week. Um, just as we head up towards day sort of 8, 9, 10, we find the high pressure beginning to move up towards Greenland, Greenland and into the North Atlantic. Fungi low just to ourselves. Could that be hinting at a breakdown just beyond day 10? Maybe, but up to day 10, really, we're still under high pressure. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So just rattle through this very quickly. Barely any precipitation to speak of in the next week. Um, around day sort of 8, 9, 10, it's like a few fungi showers developing down in the south, but not much. We're basically high pressure all the way up towards uh, day 10. Uh, right, these are the options, or this is the option on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 uh, from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 5th of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with an area of above average heights, high pressure to uh, west and northwest, bringing lots of dry, fine weather around that. We pull in the wind a little bit from the north and from the northeast, so becoming slightly cooler maybe by day 10, but basically high pressure all the way. And then in two week time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 10th of June, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them again. With above average heights, high pressure in the North Atlantic up towards Greenland, below average heights down towards um, France and in towards Scandinavia as well. A winds again coming in, coming in, I should say, from more of a northerly direction. Possibly hinting at being a little bit more unsettled by day 14. That low pressure towards France is trying to bring some wetter weather in from the south. Um, but... It's a long way off there. It's a very, very, very long way off. And in the reliable time frame, which is the next week to 10 days, high pressure is dominant all the way. CFS B2 finally for June. This is the very latest 700 millibar height anomaly. So going for above average heights, high pressure to B2 our west and northwest. Below average heights, low pressure B to the south. Winds coming in. From an east or a northeasterly direction should bring a lot of dry and warm weather with it. The temperature normally, though, isn't that interesting, you know, nothing that exciting. Plus, a little bit above average, but certainly nothing, nothing get excited about. It. Actually, rather cool across Scandinavia, so it must be some normally winds digging in there. I suppose that would be expected as like we got the high pressure 
towards Greenland in the North Atlantic. So around that, we're going to get like a northwesterly. Um, and that will particularly affect Scandinavia, of course. Uh, as far as precipitation is concerned, it's a case of uh, no signal there as well. I would have thought a relatively dry-ish month is likely unless low pressure starts coming in from the south underneath that area of high pressure. We'll see. Right, if you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals where it's asked them to subscribe as well. And uh, we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Ding the bell. And uh, you'll be notified when we release content and uh, live stream and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. And more importantly than us is rainbows. So uh, can you please uh, check out uh, the uh, Rainbows Hospice website? The link is in the, in the description with this video, see the amazing work that they are doing to provide vital care for children and young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions. And uh, if you could, if you can afford to, please give a donation to Rainbows via our Just Giving page. And uh, we've got a target for £1,000. Will, will we be able to hit that when we do our live stream tomorrow? Can we smash it? Can we smash it? Can we smash it? Can we smash it? Um, we shall see. But it's going to be, whatever happens, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic live stream. And I can't wait to see you all at 6 p.m. Um, when we do what will probably be the final charity live stream here at Gaz Weather Viz. Thank you so much, everybody. I just tell you, coming up over the weekend, bank holiday weekend, of course, so a uh, lot of epic stuff on the way. Tomorrow, a couple of changes as well to the typical running order. Tomorrow, we'll have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Um, there will be no week ahead forecast tomorrow. So that will be back um, a week tomorrow, the first Saturday of June. That's coming back, but no weekend forecast tomorrow. However, we will have the um, third and final summer 2023 season model roundup. That will be released at 10 a.m. And there will be a 10 to 14 day as well. And then, of course, as I've been plugging throughout week at 6 p.m., we've got our epic charity live stream. I shall see you live from there. I shall be rather differently attired. I shall say no more than that. And uh, I shall see you at 6pm uh, for our charity live stream. Then on Sunday, no 6am uh, UK weather forecast. Reason for that is that I'm doing a three-hour charity live stream, and after that, I'm going to need a bit of a rest, so I won't be able to record uh, the 6am forecast after the live stream. And so, therefore, no 6am forecast on Sunday. However, we are releasing our summer 2023 forecast. So after 12 updates and or 11 updates and three seasonal roundups, we've got to the end of summer updates and uh, summer forecast time. Um, on Sunday at 10 a.m., there'll be a 10 to 14 day late on the afternoon around back Friday, Monday, the 6 a.m. forecast is back. And there'll be a historic video looking at uh, the summer of 2022, just last summer uh, for that one. And uh, we'll uh, we'll go over charts that got us to 40 degrees. Wow, wow, wow. Lots and lots to cover. Of course, the main thing is going to be the live stream. And uh, I hope that you're able to check in at least for a bit. I know people won't be able to sit for like three hours and listen to, uh, listen to me chatting on for three hours. So it'll be the kind of thing where people come and go, you know, and the bits that you miss, you can catch up on, um, watch on catch up and that. But if you've got a little bit of time on Saturday evening, hopefully I shall see you there. You have a great rest of your Friday, though. And uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.